Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining in today. Recently, we announced over 500 of our schools in South Carolina that were awarded the Palmetto Gold or Silver Recognition. You'll be receiving your flags in the mail, fly them proudly. It recognizes all the hard work that the staff, teachers, students, parents all go together uh, to make schools a great place to learn. So congratulations to all of you who have received that recognition. We have a new link on our website that I'm really excited about. It's called understood.org. And it has tremendous list of resources, processes, information for parents of children with special needs. One of the special needs, dyslexia, is one that we're hearing a lot about where parents want more information. So there's a whole uh, part devoted to that. So be sure that you look at this website and share the information with your families in your school community. Recently, we announced new cut scores for the GED. As you probably know, the GED introduced a new test about 18 months ago tied to higher college and career ready standards, a much more difficult test. It takes about a year or so to make sure that the scores are aligned properly. So the new passing score for the GED is 145 with a high school equivalency. At 165, that shows that those students are college and career ready. And at 175, for the first time, our adult education students who are taking the GED can actually get college credit. So it's a wonderful new setup for those students and we encourage folks to participate. Last summer, we served over four million meals in our summer food service program. We want to do even better this next year. So if you or someone you know or your church or local community group might want to participate and be a site for the summer food service program, please go on our website for the information. This is a wonderful program and it really helps out those students who, who need an extra meal during the summertime. So I hope you'll consider participating. A few weeks ago, I had a great day announcing the two educators in South Carolina who won the Milken Family Foundation Educator Awards. A check for $25,000 to each of them and the recognition that they so much deserve. Kimberly Freeman of Lexington Middle School, a foreign language teacher there, and Lindsay Bibler at South Florence High School where she teaches AP Calculus. They were so excited. It was so evident that their students love them and they have a wonderful relationship and very, very high expectations for their students. If you'd like to see more of the ceremony, at the end of the video, you'll have a chance to watch that. I hope you'll tune in to our March message coming up because we'll be announcing the five finalists for our South Carolina State Teacher of the Year. Keep up the good work and thanks so much for being an educator in South Carolina. Teachers want to know that they're making a difference in the lives of their students. And on February 9th, two South Carolina teachers received confirmation that they are doing just that. Kimberly Freeman, a Latin teacher at Lexington Middle School, and Lindsay Bibler, a calculus teacher at South Florence High School, were presented with the prestigious Milken Educator Award. South Carolina has been a partner with us since 1994, and today means that we have 57 recipients of the Milken Award in South Carolina. The teachers in this room, and the administrators, and our staff, and, and everybody who walks this campus every day, have a deeply embedded understanding of the importance of education. We live in a community that values education. We have support in our district level. We have support from our state government in education. And we are going to make learning in South Carolina something that's available to everyone. I think it's important to give awards to teachers like Ms. Freeman because they don't, give it, they don't get enough recognition for their work. And um, I just think that great teachers need to have great awards. Um, I had an amazing pre-calculus and calculus teacher. Um, she was so inspiring. When I watched her teach, I didn't just listen to what she was teaching, but I watched how she was doing it and her passion, and um, I just wanted to be able to do that for other people. 
absolutely deserving. She's a great teacher, a great person. She's done a lot for the school, a lot for students over the years, and a lot for me. I'm, I'm, no one else is better deserving than her. This has been a very exciting day for the great state of South Carolina and for all of our wonderful teachers across South Carolina. We've recognized two of our very finest. They're fantastic teachers, and they're just the example of teachers that I see all across our state. So I wish we could do this for every teacher, but obviously we can't. But I hope you'll take pride in knowing that two of your very own have been recognized, that this day will change their life, that it sets them on a path of being involved not only on state level policy, but national level policy, and that they've gotten the recognition that they deserve. And I hope that they have inspired some of their own students in the assembly program to become teachers. That's part of this day. I want to say a big thank you to the Milken Family Foundation for supporting teaching profession and for uplifting the teaching profession. It's been a wonderful day in South Carolina.